people ask me how I got into archaeology and how I came to be the editor of an archaeological magazine, well, the bottom line is that archaeology helped me in my search for answers. I had begun studying medicine at the West Australian University, and for the first time in my life, I began to think about life's big questions. Where have we come from? What does the future hold? What lies beyond death's door? And the really big one, is there anyone out there? Is there a God? In order to find answers for such questions, I began to examine the discoveries of archaeology. And in my search, I came across an amazing prophecy made around 600 BC that concerned the ancient city of Tyre, which is in Lebanon today. Now, Tyre was a great Phoenician trading city, and it once stretched for some 30 kilometres along the shores of the Mediterranean. And ships of all the nations anchored in this place, and of course the merchants bought and they sold their wares. Now notice this incredibly specific prediction that was made about this city 600 years before the time of Christ, while it was still at the peak of its power. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Tyre, and will cause many nations to come up against you, and they shall destroy the walls of Tyre and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her and make her like a top of a rock. It shall be a place for spreading nets in the midst of the sea. I will bring against Tyre from the north Nebuchadnezzar. He will heap up a siege mound against you. He will direct his battering rams against your walls, and with his axes he will break down your towers. They will lay your stones, your timber, and your soil in the midst of the water. I will make you like the top of a rock. You shall be a place for spreading nets. Now, you'll notice a number of very specific predictions were made right here. First, Nebuchadnezzar would attack it. Nations would attack it. Tyre would become like a flat rock. Tyre would be thrown into the sea. And finally, the fishermen would spread their nets on the site of old Tyre. Amazingly, I discovered from archaeology and history that all these predictions were precisely fulfilled. You see, the first to attack Tyre was Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. He besieged Tyre for 13 long years, but when he destroyed the mainland city of Tyre, the people escaped to an island just off the shore and he couldn't get them. Because you see, he'd come overland without any ships. Then about 200 years went by and the people of Tyre had rebuilt, of course, their city when Alexander the Great attacked it because the city of Tyre was siding with the Persians whom he was fighting. Well, Alexander destroyed the mainland city but again, the people of Tyre got in their boats and took their treasures with them to their offshore island. But Alexander was not going to give in that easily. He ordered all of his soldiers to get all the rubble from the mainland ruins and dump it into the ocean to build a causeway out to the island. Now, to do this, he scraped the mainland city of its rubble and its dust, leaving it bare like a flat rock. And you know, today you can still see some of the rubble that he had dumped in the ocean. By the way, you can visit what was once the island at the end of the causeway that Alexander the Great built. And what's Tyre today? It's just a fishing village. And everywhere you look, you can see the fishermen spreading their nets out to dry. Now, when I saw this amazing prophecy, I realised that this book was not only historically accurate, but also prophetically dependable. I could see that it was no ordinary book. I realised that there had to be some supernatural mind behind it. You know, it proved to me that there is a God. And the more I learned about him, the more I had peace of mind. As I began to look further into this, I asked him to lead my life, and he did. I found a purpose for living and a hope for the future. And let me assure you, he can do and wants to do the same for you. All we have to do is to ask him. Now, I know that like so many others, you too would like more information. You can learn more for yourself in our free online course called Secrets of Prophecy. Just visit our website and learn more today.